మాస్టర్ సి వి వి నమస్కారం టు యువర్ లోటస్ ఫీట్ నాలోన కలబెల్ గునా పరిసరముల వరి రూపమున గణపటుగాక చరించడి నా దమా వెలుగుగా వినిపించి కనిపించి వెలయుగాక నాలో న వెలుపల ఏలు నిశ్శబ్దంబు ప్రేమగా సాక్షాత్కరించుగాక మా కంఠ శబ్దాల చీకట్లు వెలుగుగా కరగించి అది మమ్ము కలుపుగాక తెలివికిని సద్గుణముల బలము గూర్చి ప్రణాళిక విశ్వ ప్రణాళిక గను వ్యాప్తమై విశ్వమూర్తి రూపంబు నందు నిలుచుగావుత శాశ్వత నిలయముగుచు నమస్కారం స్మాస్టర్ ఈకే గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యు ఇన్ ఎస్టర్ డే క్లాస్ you learnt how to treat patients who are suffering with injuries and cuts today we will proceed further and try to learn how to treat patients who are suffering with head injuries burning wounds lesion and food poisoning listen to me carefully head injuries when there is a head injury and fracture first aid should be given immediately at times when there is a head injury there may not be externally visible wounds but internal parts might have got wounded because of this reason when there is a head injury it is always better to consult a surgeon and give treatment in his direction The following remedies are useful in cases of head injuries and internal wounds. The first drug that is useful is opium. Patient goes semi-conscious after head injury and becomes drowsy. His pulse will be fast and there is lack of sensation of touch. When these symptoms are present, opium is indicated when the symptoms appear due to shock from an accident one dose of opium 200c should be given immediately then the patient must be taken to a surgeon and further treatment must be proceed in consultation with the surgeon by using opium we can prevent the ill effects of internal wounds the tucker at the time of accident aconite aconite is indicated when the patient is still conscious after the accident and suffer from reeling restlessness fear of death and thirst for cool water in such a case one dose of aconite 200c should be given as the remedy natrum sulf this remedy is indicated when the patient starts to suffer from severe headache or fits or loss of memory few years after an accident this is also indicated when men- mental symptoms develop after an accident one dose of natrum sulf 200c should be given as the remedy when indicated calcarea sulf when there is pus formation in the wounds two doses of calcarea sulf 6x should be given to the patient daily to get them healed when there is pus formation in do- deep wounds even after using ladampal one dose of calcarea sulf 30c should be given to cure the patient bones injuries to skin and tissue may happen when a person is accidentally expo- exposed to light heat radiation electricity or chemicals in such cases blisters form this may also happen 
when substances like water vapor, boiled oil, etc. accidentally spill on the body. Sometimes blisters may not form, but there will be intense burning in the skin. In such instances, we should apply azadirecta indica pi liquid or acheranthes aspira pi liquid with soaked cotton twice a day. When there, is, when there is formation of blisters, the patient should be given azadirecta indica pi or acheranthes aspira pi internally twice a day for three days. Thereafter, the following remedies will be useful to treat bonds. The first useful drug is cantharis. When the blisters from form and there is severe burning sensation due to exposure to hot boiling substances, one dose of cantharis 30C should be given. If required, one dose of cantharis 30C can be given on the second day and third day also. When fever develops in this case, one dose of cantharis 200C should be given. Dilution of azadirecta indica pi or acheranthes aspira pi shall be applied on the blisters with soaked cotton twice a day. Arsenicum album Intense burning sensation, anxiety, tension, restlessness, fear of death, thirst for small quantities of water at short intervals indicate arsenicum album. In these cases, arsenicum album 200C should be given when indicated. Dilution of azadricta indica pi or acheranthes aspira pi shall be applied on the affected parts with soaked cotton twice a day. Epis. When stinging pains start in and around the area of blisters, Epis 6C should be given twice daily for 2 or 3 days to relieve the patient. If the stinging pains are more severe, one dose of Epis 30C or 200C shall be given. Dilution of Azadirecta Indica Pi or Acheranthes Aspira Pi shall be applied on the affected parts with soaked cotton twice a day. The next new chapter is Food Poisoning. Now we will try to learn how to treat the patients who took poisoned food. In case of food poisoning, either due to wall lizards or a spider, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea may result. If they are treated in homeopathic way by using the following remedies, the patient will be restored to health. The first useful drug is apicoc. Severe nausea, vomiting, weakness and tongue without any coating indicated apicoc. One dose of apicoc 200C should be given as the remedy to relieve. Calimur. Severe nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, white or yellow coated tongue and loss of taste indicate Calimur. One dose of Calimur 30C should be given when these symptoms are present. If there, if there, is, if there is no relief, after one hour, one dose of Calimur 200C should be given. Naxvamika, intense stomach ache, frequent urge for evacuation, lack of appetite, ineffective urge for stools, unsatisfactory, stool scanty, after much straining, indigestion, 
heaviness of stomach, pain around the navel, indicate Naksvamika. When indicated in food poisoning cases, one dose of Naksvamika 200C should be given. Kali Moore 6X should be given as the follow-up from the next day onwards, twice a day for three or four days. The next useful drug is arsenicum album, severe vomitings, motions, stomach ache, burning sensation all over the body, restlessness, fear of death, and frequent urge for small quantities of water characterize arsenicum album in food poisoning cases. When indicated, one dose of arsenicum album 200C should be given as the remedy. Econite, large vomitings, few minutes immediately after taking poisoned food, fear of death, restlessness, and thirst for cool water indicate aconite. One dose of aconite 200C should be given as the remedy when indicated. From the next day onwards, Calimur 6X should be given as the follow-up twice a day. Phosphorus. Intense thirst for cool water, thirst unquenched even after taking large quantities of cool water, vomitings immediately after taking cool water in copious watery stools, burning sensation all over the body and intense prostration characterize phosphorus in these cases. When indicated, one dose of phosphorus 200C should be given as the remedy. From the next day onwards, Calimur 6X shall be given as the follow-up twice a day. Carboves, fullness of stomach after eating poisoned food, heaviness of stomach, relieved by belching or, pa or passing flatus and excessive cold sweat indicate Carboves. The patient craves for Fanning wants to have fresh air in spite of cold sweat. When indicated, one dose of Carboves 200C should be given as the remedy. In general, there will be no need to repeat this medicine. From the next day onwards, Calimur 6X shall be given as the follow-up twice a day for three or four days. For Persons who attempted suicide by taking in large quantities, quantities of sedatives like gardenol, restyl, or compost, saturated salt solution should be given in lukewarm water. Two or three glasses of this water should be given forcibly till he starts vomiting. When vomiting start, Saturated salt water need not be given. Poisonous substances are expelled out by vomiting. Care should be taken that dehydration does not result in such instances. For patients who consumed large quantities of sedatives and lost consciousness, tincture of opium 30C should be made smelt. Then they will recover and treatment should be continued based on the totality. Swasti.